previously on Hell's Kitchen. And if you all just shut up, we'll do it perfectly. The red team lost the first two dinner services and two of its members. Red team's looking very small. So Chef Ramsay evened up the teams. Michael, you're going to the red team. And in the ensuing challenge. Delicious. The results were immediate. The winning team is the red team. Despite the win, Jeff's relations with his red teammates continued to deteriorate. All right, don't finish my sentence. At dinner service, without Michael in the blue kitchen, Ralph emerged as a definitive leader. That list is done. But even Ralph couldn't control Andrew's mouth. You know all this big fucking fat mouth of yours? It's getting you nowhere. I'm just trying to do the job. Yeah. Right. My advice to you, just shut your fucking mouth. Or teach Wendy the basics. I thought cold water was supposed to boil faster than hot water. What? In the red kitchen, okay. Jeff had problems all evening. I've never been on a line before. Come here, you. Come here. Come here. You don't like me. I don't know what to tell you. You're an asshole. Then cracked under the pressure. Yeah. Send my ass home. I've had enough of it. Jeff quitting for good was the final straw in the worst dinner service of Chef Ramsay's career. Shut it down. It was a miserable night in both kitchens. The losing team tonight is the blue team. As best of the worst, Ralph nominated Wendy and Andrew for elimination. Wendy, give me a jacket and get out of Hell's Kitchen. With both kitchens losing a member, it's down to the final eight. And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. The blue team's first dinner service defeat is sinking in. And for Jessica, the loss is personal. Such an amazing girl, like, so sweet, so thoughtful. Today, Wendy got eliminated. I was really upset about it. I think she's an amazing person. I just super respect her. We're down to eight people now, and Hell's Kitchen is definitely changing. I'll never walk out of my team, man. Never. Despite Jeff's sudden departure, the red team is managing to cope with the loss. We won because why? Because we you know what? You didn't he was go. gone. Goodbye. Hello. And we fucking got down and yeah, we made man. it happen. You get fucking yelled at. I'm sorry. You're going to cry about getting somebody yelling at you? We lost somebody and we held it together. I think the team is relieved that Jeff is now out of the way. He's been more of a problem than he was a help. Fresh off his nomination of Andrew, Ralph feels the need to have a late night heart to heart. Are you trying to achieve the role of smartest? All right, fine, I'm a smartest. I got a big mouth and I well, stood what up for what I believe tonight. But is that the role that you want? No, absolutely So then not. put the smartest shit away, man. If you don't want to be on the guillotine, then just shut your fucking mouth, man. Bottom line is, you got to check your ego at the door when you walk in the kitchen. And Andrew needs to understand that. After the worst dinner service in Hell's Kitchen's short history, Chef Ramsay decides to go back to a not-so-subtle wake-up call. Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up for roll call. This morning, we were woken to the sound of air horns. Very loud air horns, to be exact. All right, guys, everybody up. Put your lights on and head over to the kitchen, OK? Marianne came in turning on lights. Get dressed. Let's go. Let's go. No brushing teeth, nothing. Just put on your uniform and go. Bye. Go. With the restaurant fully booked for tomorrow night and both teams down a member, kitchen prep is crucial. Just take them off the bone. Keep the head. It's a cleaver. Use it like a cleaver. OK. Red team. Blue team. Line up. Thank you. We spent a lot of time in the kitchens. You've got to understand how the restaurant functions. So we're going to spend a bit of time in the dining room with JP looking at attention to detail. Let's go through the dining room. Chef Ramsay's restaurants are built on quality food and service. There's nobody he trusts more to explain the finer points of the dining room than his longtime maitre d', Jean-Philippe, also known as JP. Go and send you all to the dining room because it's um, about a restaurant. We're running a restaurant. O although regarding restaurant setup, you need to be organized. Jean-Philippe gave us some instruction and showed us a table for fine dining. He started going on and on and on. So it makes a perfect table, first of all. 
mobility chairs, uh, such as Symmetric. It's about simplicity as well. Your cutlery, straighten, napkin, fold it the proper way. JP went into one ear and out the other, so I don't think anybody was paying too much attention. You carry your glass by the steel. When you put your cutlery on the table, with elegance, And you need to know what you're talking about as well. Clear? Yes, sir. Paying attention? Yes, sir. This is your next challenge. <laughs> Behind you, two tables. Red table, blue table. Six customers at each table. You need to set up the most perfect table. That was our hint. That was our cheat sheet. And he destroyed it so that we couldn't take a look at it. Turn around, set up your table, and go. Right, go. For this challenge, the teams must recreate Jean-Philippe's perfectly set table. They have five minutes to arrange the 96 pieces of silverware, glassware, and china. In the end, the team with the fewest number of mistakes wins the challenge. Right away, I picked up a tablecloth. And like as soon as I put it down, it was like, you know, that was the wrong side up. Now, don't throw things on there. It's a table, guys, yes? I have absolutely no clue how to set up this dining room table. It's just so many pieces of silverware and glasses have to be a certain way. It's kind of crazy. By now, the teams know that winning has its rewards. The glasses go around like this. But it's the punishment for losing they're trying to avoid. It's got a whole line up. Make it good. Well, let's get everything on, and then we'll, then we'll adjust. Jimmy had a little bit of trouble with the napkins. He's a bit of a lummox, you know? He's just a big guy. He's a big bear, and um, he's not that delicate. Come on, guys. There's only six, for God's sake. It's not 60. As the last 20 seconds wind down, both teams scramble to properly set 96 pieces of glassware, china, and silverware. The team with the fewest mistakes will win this challenge. I need a fork in here. Face all this for the customer. Yeah, what kind of fork? I need a, uh, I need a uh, snail fork. Right. Give me a napkin on one. Yeah, a little baby one like this? Yep. And stop. Stand back from the table. Do not touch it. OK. Red team. It's scruffy. Some chairs are pushed in. Some chairs are pushed out. Look at the lip on that. I can guarantee anyone sitting at this table, first thing's gonna happen, bang, up in the air. Jimmy, napkins look like they've just come out of a lady's toilet. Fingerprints everywhere. You've got four mistakes wrong with your table. Attention to detail, you clearly weren't paying attention. Okay, blue team, blue table. Ooh. You've got to keep these glasses clear of any rim. You want to drink wine and water easily, not having to untuck. Okay, so for the blue team, um, that's one of the gems. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. One mistake. The winning team for the tabletop set is the blue team. <laughs> Take off your jackets. Your prize is waiting for you in the dorm. Red team. All the preparation for tomorrow night's service, silver glasses, plates, are waiting you in the back for a good old polish. Get moving. Down. Congratulations. Thank you, Shad. It feels like better to win than it does to lose, doesn't it? Oh, yes, oh. It's the first time we've actually won. <laughs> For winning their first challenge, the blue team is rewarded with a much needed afternoon of rest, relaxation, and spa treatments. Hell yeah! It smelled amazing. There was candles everywhere. It was super cool. We were just blown away. Now we're talking turkey. <laughs> We've been working so long in the kitchen, plus you're stressed, so your muscles are tense, so to get a massage was, like, awesome. A winning feels so much better, doesn't it? Mm. Well, I wonder what the red team's doing right now. 
They're quite dirty, yeah? Jimmy, clumsy, yeah? We were told that we would be polishing 200 glasses plus all of the silverware for tomorrow night's dinner. OK, so you guys, you don't know what the winning team gets, yeah? I already know we're in here, yeah. Well, there's some champagne ready, yeah? Can you bring them over to them, please? To them? OK, right now. I don't like losing, but it was horrible. So it was kind of a hard loss to swallow. Bonjour. You don't care for champagne? You're doing a great job over there, Chris. Thanks, Ralph. I aim to please. As a team, we might have an advantage for tomorrow night because we're riding a good high. Steve, is there anything you can do there? No, thank you. I got work to do. Need to bring the bucket closer. We're mentally and physically prepared by being relaxed. Team, I propose a toast to success and a prosperous evening tomorrow night. Cheers, blue team. They're all having spa treatments, and they're all laying down and being rubbed with cucumbers in their eyes, and Ralph's having a pedicure. They're having a nice time. I was jealous. I would have loved to have just had an hour or two to have a facial and massage, which is very well needed, doing this kind of work. Told you it would happen. The teams gather after a hard day and are about to discover they're never out from under Chef Ramsay's watchful eye. How funny is JP is, that's it. He's such a cool guy, like, he's he such is a character. He should be like a, like, he is a character, like, he's totally like the butler. He's like. You think he's got gas sometimes? <laughs> he's cute. Yeah, you don't know if he's suppressing a laugh or if he's just like. Yeah. He's suppressing a laugh. That guy can giggle at any time, too. <laughs> Did you see that? Did you see the billboard? What? It's Ramsey. Look. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> no fucking way! <laughs> he's just staring right at his fucking eyes. He's huh? totally watching us. I can't see his left eye. He really is a big boy. Yes, sir. Hey, big boy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Holy shit. Dude, that is not right. Like, I'm creeped out about that. Dude, that's fucking crazy. Oh, that's hey, you call us a wanker from above. Through three dinner services, neither the red nor the blue team has served even half of their diners a full meal. With the eight best cooks remaining, Chef Ramsay is expecting a huge improvement tonight. Yeah. He's so confident that he's adding two new menu items. Tonight, we're going to be cooking some frog legs. Second one. Here we go. Pigeons. Chef Ramsay is known for his high cuisine. Frog legs and pigeon are staples of his great restaurants in Europe. He has put these items on the menu because to be a master chef, one must understand how to prepare a wide variety of foods. Now you can start to see the pigeon taking shape. That bird. I was pretty nasty, I and mean, I was just horrified because um, it was the most disgusting smell ever. Insert the knife. OK, two fingers in, and just pulling out all the inners. It, it was just gross. I mean, it just smelled like something really, really foul. I'm not touching it. I'm not going there. But that's how we prep a pigeon for service. Today was a great lesson for them because ingredients just don't arrive on your doorstep prepared. You've got to see it from the beginning with his feathers on, like a proper chef. Let's go. Start prepping. Oh, these things stank. Thank you, Chef Ramsay. Thank you. It was six, five hours from service. Frog juice in my eye. Where are we putting, where are we putting these? Adding two new menu items last minute that nobody's ever cooked before in their life, it's of course gonna be difficult. And it's trial by fire, burn and learn, baby. I really don't wanna go home tonight. None of us are going home tonight. I'm gonna to blue team. Confidence is high in the blue kitchen. Meanwhile, in the red kitchen, Elsie, the mother of six, struggles to adapt to the world of high cuisine. I got a problem with cutting an animal up to pieces. I know it's done in the supermarket, but the visual, it's just really nasty to see it, but I'm, I'm gonna handle it. I, I've got an attitude today, it's like do or die. Yeah. Get 
your tomatoes on, ready to roll? My, t my tomatoes? First night service was catastrophic. Chef, that ticket is gone. They left the restaurant. Oh, for God's sake. Second night, we actually put our foot on the ladder and started climbing. Thank you. There we go. Crispy bacon. Hallelujah. Third service was just diabolical. Really bad. We went back 10 spaces. Move yours! I'd just like to get through a night and accomplish a fully booked dining room properly. Red team. Uh, blue team, with me two seconds, please. Just 30 minutes before Hell's Kitchen opens, Chef Ramsay gathers the teams, and he's fed up with dinner disasters. Tonight is the comeback meal. I think we need it, don't you? Yes, Chef. I think we've got a job to do, and we need to prove not to the customers, but to ourselves what we're capable of doing. That's why we're here, right? Yes, Chef. So tonight, the first team to serve all its customers will be safe from elimination. Sounds easy, Andrea. Yes, it does, Chef. I wish it was that easier. Me too, Chef. As long as Andrew keeps his mouth shut tonight, we have a good chance of serving all of our diners. It's really exciting what Chef just told us, you know. It's up to us whether we win or lose tonight. And I'm going to do whatever it takes to get this red team to win. Now, 30 minutes before the restaurant opens, there's more news for one of the teams. Red team. Yes, Chef. Yes, chef. Second part of the punishment for losing the challenge. Can you see the dining room out there? Sure, sure. Move your ass and set up the dining room, both for the blue tables and the red tables. Move. Let's go. Blue team, set up for service. Yes, Chef. Yes, chef. First thing to do, this is the way you set your side plates. Okay? okay? Good. Okay, it needs to be done properly because if it's not, you can't go back into the kitchen. Left, left, left. I know it's important to have a formal dining area set up properly, but right now, that's not what I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about the service and the food going out tonight. A side plate's missing here, Jimmy. With 30 tables and 100 place settings to set, the red team is losing valuable prep time in the kitchen. This table here, this table. Meanwhile, the blue team is done with their prep and getting their stations set up. Oh my god, Mary, what, oh, look what, at this. Look oh, at this. Me. Um, beautiful. I'm feeling pretty good about our station. While we're prepping right now, the red team is setting up all the tables in the dining room, and I hope we use it to our advantage. The tables are set perfectly. You guys go back into the kitchen. Just Give me some food. Thank you, Jim. Thank you. With just five yes. minutes before the doors open, the red team has finished setting the dining room. Now they must make up for lost time. Both teams are motivated more than ever to feed all their diners and be safe from elimination. Behind, 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 let's move. Everyone on the red tables are eating tonight. There was no way that, that we were gonna disappoint Chef Ramsay. Time to kick in the second gear, guys. Back in the blue kitchen, Ralph still feels insecure about Andrew. Not only do I not see the tomato sauce, but I don't even know what it goes with. It goes with the bass. Striped bass, which has the... The potato roll. The potatoes, right. Andrew was a little unsure about some of the garnish for the dishes. I wish I didn't have to help anybody, but we're here to feed customers. That's what we're gonna do tonight. I have most of them. The lamb is ratatouille, the tomato. Ralph took a roll of tape and started writing Wellington, XXX. Shh, bang, it was a cheat sheet. Butter, potatoes. Cool. Do we have all the garnish for the pigeon over here? The pigeon gets the carrot, the... Uh... Carrot, cabbage, pancetta, yeah. cream. Fast customers are here, yeah? Here we go. It's 7 p.m. and the restaurant is now open. <laughs> well, thank you and enjoy your dinner, ladies. We're clearing down now. Yeah? Let's go, guys. I'm desperate for us to finally complete a service, and that's why I'm giving the teams extra motivation. But I'm not going to send out food that is mediocre. It has to be right. I'll be shocked if either team can serve all their tables. Red team on order. Two covers table 24, yes? yes. One frog's eggs du jour, yeah? One tuna, main course, one cod, one Wellington. Yes, Wellington in. We chef. Let's go, you guys. What should I heat the oven up to? 400? Is that good? Elsie has a pivotal role tonight. She's responsible for all meat dishes for the very first time. How long do I keep that lamb in there? I'm really worried about Elsie on the meat station tonight. You know, if she messes up, I'm going to make sure she's the one who's eliminated. Blue kitchen, chef. On order, blue kitchen, two covers table 27. One tuna, one spaghetti and lobster, main course, one cod, one Wellington. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Wellington in, medium. So it's like this, look at me. Three Wellington, three potato, three spinach, three carrot. Run it through your head. And then all it does is it broadens it. 
Yeah. Right. My one goal for the evening is keeping my mouth shut. You know, yes, chef, no, chef, thank you, chef. Here you go, chef, on the window. Let's go, yes? Mary Ellen works quickly to turn around her first appetizers, and they're at the hot plate. Jessica, good, let's go. Lobster in the tomato, come on, get organized, sweetheart, let's go. Yes, chef. Well, Mary Ellen, that's how I want to see every tuna. Yes, chef. Go on. Pick up. Wow, it actually looks like restaurant food now. Table 27, yes? Only 20 minutes into service, the blue team is off to a good start and has served appetizers to several of its tables. It's really good. Meanwhile, Chef Ramsay is looking for more good news from the red kitchen. How long spaghetti, please? Five minutes, five minutes, five minutes. Five minutes for spaghetti. Chelsea! Yes! Don't do this to me now! It's coming in two minutes! No, I'm not waiting no, for two minutes. 30 seconds, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Oh, for God's sake, calm down, woman. Just tell me two minutes. Yes, chef. Else, yes. you've got under control, yeah? Yes, chef. You're doing fine. What are you worried about? All right, yeah. come on, you're doing fine. I just keep throwing out the minutes. Don't worry about it. Less than an hour into service, in the blue kitchen, the first main course is just moments from heading to the hot plate for Chef Ramsay's approval. I need a plate. See what I'm doing here? Yeah. That's medium rare right there. That's ready. Can I bring it up? Sure you can. All right, Wellington coming up right now. Jessica, very nice at Wellington. Thank you, Chef. Keep them going like that, Jessica. Go, please. That was nice, guys, first main course, yeah? With the first main course out, Andrew brings up garnish for the next order. Now I want bass cod. Let's okay. go. Wellington, what are you on? Three Wellingtons, one bass. One cod, one bass, two salmon. Are you okay, Andrew? Yes, I am. Right, I'm talking to you. You're sending me the wrong garnish, yes? Uh, yes. Two salmon, one cod, one bass. Five minutes. Ralph, I don't want any fish until the vegetables are here, yes? Because right now, the whole lot's going back. Main courses are all piling up now. Move your ass. This is not difficult. Tonight's goal is to complete all the orders in each kitchen. The team who does it first will win. The blue team has compensated for Andrew's troubles. And an hour and a half into service, they've served almost all of their appetizers and some of their main courses. Meanwhile, Elsie has delivered the Red Kitchen's first entrees to the hot plate. Finish, please. They're close to completing their first of 15 tables. All that's needed is the garnish from Jimmy. Jimmy, taste that. Hurry up, Jimmy. It's stone cold. Yes, Chef. Back in the pan, it's stone cold. Yes, Chef. I said to you this afternoon, you were told, get it in the pan, hurry up. Yes, Chef. Why are you serving me stone cold garnish? Why are you serving me stone cold garnish? I'm you sorry. slop. Yes, chef. Let's go. Yeah? I'm trying my best. Hey, young man. Well, that's not good enough for me. Yes, Do you understand? Because yes. that's shit. So don't come to me with your wimp. I'm trying my best. Yes, chef. It's crap! You sent me one more cold garnish. You're washing pans for the rest of your life. And you'll never get a cold garnish again. Back in the blue kitchen, Ralph is now starting to serve desserts, completing the blue team's first three tickets. But they still have a long way to go. Let's go, guys. Hey, Jessica, Ralph, what did I say to you earlier about serving the whole dining room? Serve everybody, yeah. chef. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right. Twelve tables to go. We got it, chef. Yes, chef. Andrew, where is the Andy? Doesn't even answer me. The what? Undive. Where's the undive? Where is the undive? Here, chef. Oh, fuck Ralph. Get it back, yeah? Get it back. I've got no undive. Yes, I've got no spinach. I've got no butternut squash. Start the table again. Yeah. Andrew. Yes, chef. Hello. Yes, chef. Yes, you. Fish is not even cooked yet, so I don't know what you're doing. Hello, young man. Yes, chef, I'm listening. Yeah, young man. You explain to him what just happened with the garnish. Now. I was late on the garnish. We're redoing the whole order. Yeah, table 26. Yes, apologize. The ticket came in an hour and five minutes ago. I couldn't send anything else because a certain individual had nothing ready on the vegetables. OK, let's step up the gear and get it back on track, please. Yes, chef. When Andrew kept his mouth shut and didn't buy it back, the discipline was now starting to set in, and he was really starting to get the message, finally. Andrew, right, you got a lamb and a Wellington, yes? Yes, Chef. Yes, Ralph. That's me. I just have to call you Ralph. Andrew avoided a showdown with Chef Ramsay, 
and the Blue Kitchen avoided a meltdown, sending more food out to the diners. It's really yummy, just a big chunk of lobster. Jessica. Yes, chef. Very nice, that spaghetti lobster. Thank you, chef. With Jessica mastering the meat station, the Blue Kitchen now has 10 tickets left. The Red Kitchen still has 12. To have any hope of winning tonight's service, Elsie must get her meat station moving. Elsie. Yes. Concentrate now. You stay on top of the game. Wakey, wakey, wakey. Yes, Two chef. pigeon when Wellington was summoned away. Yes, chef. I'm very anxious. The adrenaline's running. But I have a better understanding what I need to do. So I'm just going to bust it out. I'm not going to lose it. I'm going to kick some ass if it's the last fucking thing I do. How's that? Elsie, you're doing awesome, Elsie. The Wellington's cooked beautifully, by the way. Wellington's spot on. There's only one hour left in service, and the Blue Kitchen has only five tables left to serve. But maitre d' Jean-Philippe has noticed a problem. Well, what's wrong? It's just a little mushy, I think. A oh, mushy? Hello, please. Oh, no. What's the matter? Well, I didn't mention it's, it's mushy. Mary Ellen. Yes, Chef. Come here, Ralph. You taste that. Ralph, you taste that and let me know what you think, yes? Yeah, and it tastes of what, Mary Ellen? A little bland, Chef. A little bland. There we go. There you go. Mary Ellen, I want this fucking table again. Three risotto, one spaghetti, one tuna, yeah? Yes, Chef. But I want three beautiful risottos. Yes, Chef. Because you know how to do a beautiful risotto. Stop that. Stop it now, yeah? Nothing's coming out until this table gets served. Sorry, Chef. Thank you, everybody. With the Blue Kitchen at a standstill. Let's go, guys. Come on, red team, pick it up, yes? The Red Kitchen rallies to get dishes out. They have six tickets left to serve. Away now, we're waiting to more lamb. Pull that lamb out, OK? You're doing great. Oh, you're good. Mm. Mm. Oh, perfect. Dude, go, man. Good job, red team. We're not in the clear yet. Risotto, how long, please? With just 30 minutes remaining, Mary Ellen in the Blue Kitchen gets her risottos back up to par. And the Blue Kitchen is cooking now. Or are they? Where is the tuna? Tuna? Frog's legs, tuna, spaghetti, risotto. Where is the tuna? Up. No, but where is it? Have you forgotten it? I thought it was frog legs, risotto. Oh, look, come here. Just come here, then. I've done, look, frog's legs, tuna, spaghetti, risotto. Read it out. Where is the tuna? It's going to be two minutes, Chef. Two minutes. Hello, yeah. start us back. Up oh, there we go. Me, I'm not taking that fucking bullshit. Yeah. There you go, Mary Ellen. Thank you. There you go. Take them, yeah. Oh, fucking hell again. No. He sent back that whole dish because the tuna wasn't prepared. I'm so fucking mad right now. I just want to punch him in the face. Come on, Mary Ellen. We're going to start again. Six minutes on that, Mary Ellen. Sorry, Jeff. Let's do it right. Uh... Mary Ellen's mistake has the Blue Kitchen still working on their last five tables. Meanwhile, the red team is making their final push to clear all their tickets. How many more dinners? We have four more tickets. We're almost there, baby. We're almost there. Ooh, I'm melting. We started to see the tickets go down, you know, from like eight to six to four. And when I saw those last two tickets, I was like, all right. Those are our tickets now? Yeah. Plate? Yes, the yes, final chef. ticket. Two Wellington, one bass. Are they rested? Yes, chef. Jimmy, start dancing like a ballerina. Move. Good job, Red Team. Good. Great fucking work. I'm so proud of you guys. That's it. Last table, yes? Yes. yes. We came together and we, we did it. <laughs> it's a great feeling to complete a service for the first time. Elsie, you fucking deserve it. Good job, sweetie. My meat was spot on. It's really groovy, but I did it. And I'm proud of myself, and the guys are proud of me, and it's a good feeling. What can I say? The red team has just accomplished something that's never happened in Hell's Kitchen. That's it. Last table, yes? I love the sound of that. Being the first team to clear their tickets ensures their safety in Hell's Kitchen and leaves Chef Ramsay with only one thing left to do. Blue team. Yes, yes chef. chef. Stop cooking, yes? 
Mary Ellen was, sorry baby, lack of a better term, a disaster tonight. Stop, cocaine! Andrew always has problems every night at service um, in a big way. Shut it down, this. Hell's Kitchen has just had its best service ever. OK, guys, tonight was the comeback meal. And we delivered both the blue and the red tea. Tonight, we got back on there, both kitchens. The shock for me was before service, the red team had to go in the dining room and lay all the bloody tables. OK, it needs to be done properly. So on top of laying all the tables, they scrambled back and got ready for service. And for the first time in Hell's Kitchen, every one of the red tables got starter, main course and dessert. That is a big breakthrough. Red team, you're the winners. Blue team. Sadly, five tables didn't receive their main course. That's not good enough. Ralph. Yes, yeah, Chef. You won't be nominating anyone tonight. The blue team has a new, talented cook. Jessica. The cooking was spot on. Jessica, very nice at Wellington. Thank you, Chef. Thank you, Chef. And you had the toughest section. Jessica. Chef. I want you to go back to the dorm and nominate two candidates for elimination. Think about your nominees and let me know. Yes, Chef. Let's go. Right now, things are kind of bittersweet for me. The chef said some really nice things that make me very happy, but at the same time, I have to go and nominate two of my teammates. You know, I mean, it, I've, I, it sucks. <laughs> so you're gonna give me a sip of your beer, then? You can have whatever you'd like, love. And I cry over everything. Chill out, Jess. Don't worry about it. I know, I know. This is just what I do. I really like Jess. I think that we've grown closer over the last few days. Uh, I don't think that they'll be one of the people nominated. Are we going or what? I feel it for you, man, because you carry that fucking team. Don't mean I'm safe tonight, man. No, no, I know. You know, I could be one of those two people that you calls up there to the mat. I hope you are safe, but if you're not, it was a pleasure meeting you. Come find me, Joey. My performance didn't merit it tonight. You know, it's still a game. There's still some strategy to it. Ain't nothing written in stone here. Who, are you worried? Sure. Why? Why not? You know, what are the chances of surviving the guillotine twice? Really? Even pleading my case, what do I think the chances are? A strategic move would be vote Ralph off. He's obviously, you know, my biggest competition. Maybe I do need to get a little bit more strategic. You know, I think I've probably got a chance to win this. I've made up my decision. You know, it is what it is. After successfully serving all their tables, the red team sits safely on the sidelines as the blue team nervously awaits the elimination of another team member. Jessica. Yes, Chef. Have you decided on your nominees? Yes, Chef, I have. Was it difficult? It's extremely difficult, Chef. Um, these are not only our roommates, but they've become our friends, and more importantly, our team. And it's always terrible to let one of your team leave, Chef. First nominee and why, please? My first nominee is Andrew. He was on veg tonight and seemed to have a bit of a hard time getting, you know, the final product out and on plate, on time. It affects the entire team, and, and that's why I nominate Andrew, Chef. Second nominee and why? My second nominee is Mary Ellen. Um, you know, today in the kitchen, she had a bad bout with the risotto and she wasn't able to bounce back as hard as we would have liked. Marilyn, Andrew, step forward, please. Andrew. Tell me why you think you should stay. Um, I kept my mouth shut tonight, Chef, and it shows that I'm a learning machine. A learning machine. I've got no one, Dave. Yes, I got no spinach, I got no butternut squash, and now the fish is overcooked. 
So listen, young man, start the table again. I think being here twice in a row clearly indicates the blue team don't like you. Mary Ellen, tell me why you think you should stay. Well, Chef, this evening I felt like I was doing a very good performance and starters until I let myself down, my team down, and you down. Tonight, you shut the kitchen down. Tonight, we had to stop cooking on the back of those risottos. And it was pretty damn disgusting. Nothing's coming out until this table gets served. Yeah? Yes, Chef. But I want three beautiful risottos. Yes, Chef. Because you know how to do a beautiful risotto. Sorry, Chef. Disappointed in you both. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen tonight. Is Mary Ellen. Take off your jacket. You're leaving Hell's Kitchen. I think that Chef Ramsay's decision tonight was the wrong decision. I don't believe I was the weak link on the team tonight. I think, as shown in the past, it was Andrew that was the weak link. I think that Andrew will be joining me shortly. And you're a lucky boy. Very lucky. That's enough for tonight. Good night. I just survived the guillotine twice. And the most important lesson I've learned is when you're facing the devil in Hell's Kitchen, shut your fucking mouth. I think everyone thought that Andrew was going. It makes you realize that, you know, the obvious is not always the choice he's going to make. You know, anyone's vulnerable. To me, it wasn't the right decision. Mary Ellen, she's just like this sweet, like, innocent girl. I mean, I think as far as a teammate, she was, I think she's one of the best. Mary Ellen has left Hell's Kitchen because of her inconsistency. What the rest of the team should understand is that it is very crucial to get better and more consistent. That didn't happen, Marianne.